mile one before a near capacity crowd as the Prime Ticket Network presents the major indoor soccer league playoffs. And tonight, the Western Division Finals continue with game number four as once again the Tacoma Stars host the MISL champions, the San Diego Soccers. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Joel Myers alongside Bill McDonald. We can barely hear ourselves. About 18, 19,000 on hand at the Tacoma Dome tonight. About a week ago in Game 3, an exceptional defensive effort for the Tacoma Stars. And Bill, for Tacoma to be successful once again, they need to keep it a low-scoring affair. You always have to shut down the high-scoring machine of San Diego. Sometimes your best defense is your offense. That was the case for Tacoma in Game Number 3. San Diego, they weren't without their chances. They have to finish better tonight to have a chance to win. Yeah, San Diego really dominated game number three despite coming out of the short end. Really dominated about 75% of the contest, but who we spotlighted at the top of the show, Peter Moblik, he was the key. He'll start in goal tonight, and they make a change in goal. Zoltan Tilt now in MISL playoff action. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for the San Diego Soccers. Collier and Crow will be back defensively. And of course, that great up front with Sagoto, Wilrich, and Julie B, who did not have a good game number three. He was rather invisible, so Ron Newman looking for Julie B to have a big one tonight. Peter Mavlik in goal for Tacoma. Neil Mason and Rob Black on defense. We've got O'Brien at midfield. And of course, the two great Yugoslavs in Preki and Jungle up front. And you're looking at the star of game number three, Peter Mavlik. During the regular season, he won seven out of the ten uh, decisions. And in the playoffs, he's appeared in all seven for the Tacoma Stars. Winning four, losing three. Goals against average, a bit deceiving, Joel, because he really was the important factor in game number three, coming up with the big save when needed for Allen Hinton's club, saving 15 of San Diego's 35 shots. you got to love that music in the background. Oh, you got to love this crowd. Pretty soon they will play that old favorite of the University of Washington in Seattle, Tequila. I think that is their theme. Opportunities for San Diego can play it to a, someone's feet for the turn shot. Sagoda now. Three fouls to only one. Quinn goal! Brian Quinn from Bronco Sagoda on the restart. All year long we have talked about how dangerous those restarts around the box can be. Perfect example, Bill, right there. And Sagoda with such great vision and perfect pace on the ball, laying it beautifully on the boot of Brian Quinn, Quinn who buries it into the upper corner. Look at Sagoda just to the farthest part of the wall. And uh, it looked like the defense shied a little bit away on the shot by Brian Quinn. And he was able to beat it high and over Peter Mavlik. And we mentioned the Sockers have to get up on top early, and that's exactly what happened. Look at the nice pace by Sagoda. And Brian Quinn, his foot, his leg was moving before on his game. Great ball control tonight. Moving back and forth. Goes in front. Heel goal! Gary Heel, Tacoma ties it in one. San Diego's going to say again making the play Gary Hill did he or did he not push off with that arm knocking down Fernando Clavijo Zoltan Tope thought so Gary Hill brilliant goal it's one to one six minutes and 43 seconds left in the first quarter be right back to the Tacoma Dome with the score tied it into the attacking third Murphy on a run behind jungle let's go just goes wide rebound Leonard Blocked in front by Leonard Uzi. 
San Diego took a one to nothing lead before Tacoma countered with two. Now San Diego looks for the equalizer with a man advantage and Hermes scores. What Hermes. Back post time. That's where you want to be on the power play because the defense just can't get back there and the goalkeeper has a lot of trouble shifting over. And the key to this is the through pass from the other side. Number 20. Sagoda, another great ball, and Hermes just put a little pace on that ball. Beautiful shot as Mavlik overshot it. Look at Sagoda, great vision, put it through three Tacoma players just past the outstretched foot, and Mavlik just overran that ball. And Hermes with the left foot put it in, power play goal for the Sockers, and we're tied at two apiece. And for Watt Hermes, that is his fourth power play goal of the playoffs. And neither were right now stars three the soccer's two of their own so let's check it out now the soccer's own video one for the thumb 75 degrees and another beautiful day in america's finest city but it's a busy one out in traffic let's check with steve springer in air watch one steve well randy it is an absolutely horrendous day in traffic interstate eight westbound is backed up starting in la mesa bumper to bumper all the way down to the sports arena it seems a lot of people are on their way to that big game tonight. Hey, San Diego, what's got you down? Do you need a winning team for a winning town? Then there's one thing I know for sure. A soccer's game is a miracle cure. Come on, sports fans, don't be glum. We've got the team that's number one. If you're down and feeling blue, ask Dr. Coker what to do. Take this tonight and call me in the morning because you want more than have it for me. We're the soccer's golden blue. World championships are nothing new. We've won one, two, three, and four. But we're not done. We want some more. Four rings to show that we're the best. For one more, we saw the set. So come and join us in the fun. We're going to get one for the town. Double Goose and Triple E, he's the one and only Julie V. He'll use his head, he'll use his feet, there's no defender that he can't beat. In fact, I beat them like a drum, I'm gonna get one for the thumb. Folks, come and go, but never fear, Captain Wilrich is still here. The other players look to Gene to orchestrate this symphony. The scoring always goes to sleep, and I can talk to him with my feet. Number 20 does it all. His shots take off like cannonballs. Over hill and over dale is how he'll hit the title trail. I won't let my teammates down. They'll ride the Bronco to the crown. We're the soccer's, you're the fans. We use our feet, you use your hands. Together we can have some fun. We're gonna get one for the thumb. Sometimes the ref makes things real hard when he whips out his little car. But we really come alive when we're out there four on five. So take a shot, we dare you to. No goal patrol won't let it through. And if they do, it's still no use. Our goalies take so much abuse. But it's their job, and they take pride that all the goals go in on the other side. Ooh, yeah. 
I take care of all these lads when they're good and when they're bad. One for the thumb would be so nice. Hey, lads, why don't we do it twice? Yeah! All right, coach. We love this game. We love this town. We've got the greatest fans around. But there's a battle to be won. So the future is bright for everyone. Reach out your hand. You can't refuse. With a team like this, how can we lose? Because we're the suckers. Gold and blue. World championships are nothing new. We've won one, two, three, and four. But we're not done. We want some more, four rings to show that we're the best. Room for one more is all the set, so come and join us in the fun. We're gonna get one for the money. Coma Dome with the stars on top of the San Diego Soccer's 3-2 and one of the most exciting halves of indoor soccer we have seen all year long.